Good morning. Um, I've I've got another idea for a tutorial for you. Um, this is this is about uh, preparing the background again. Uh, in the very first tutorial, we spoke about uh, importing an image so that you can um, you can have something to design against. And uh, today, I just wanted to um, to to give you a. a a quick tip on how to prepare that background so that it prints properly later. It's just a thing that I've noticed uh, as I was learning and um, you might find this helpful later on. So obviously right now you're looking at, a, at the finished design and uh, I'll walk through all the steps now. So I'll open a new document and I'll import in that. Uh, I'll import. In, I'll import that um, that same image using our import a bitmap. And this is this one. Okay, right. Uh, obviously, to change the scale, uh, first I want to lock it. And because it's um, because it's longer horizontally, I want to change my. Um, I'd like to change my background or my page, so I'll go to File, Document Properties, and right here there's a orientation from portrait to landscape, and I can just close this dialog box. Um, I'll change temporarily, just like I did last time. I, I'll I'll change the opacity of of my image, and but I'll do it temporarily, and I'll tell you why. I'll do it temporarily so that I, I can actually fit the area which I'm interested in, and the area which I'm interested in uh, starts about here and finishes on the house, and so roughly. I've got it in, so I've got all the all the elements of that um, that I wanted are in there, and um, and I could I could just change it back now. Obviously, I can't see I can't see my page. So what I want to do is I want to print a couple of trials so you can see um, uh, what it looks like. I'm going to delete those. I was just playing with them, preparing for this tutorial. Right, so the way the way we print, and uh, I might do it later on as well. But the way the way we uh, we print the uh, the finished drawing, um, so that we can place it in PDF, or we can just um, print it onto print it onto paper, or uh, just in an image to um, to send the file to the customer. Just below our import an image is a button for exporting, and that comes up with a with a dialog box. And first thing you can see is export area. And there's page drawing selection or custom. Uh, by default, at the moment, it, it wants to uh, wants to produce the entire drawing. So everything that you see, everything that is in the document, uh, will be will be printed in as one file. What what I'm interested in is uh, exporting the page only. So um, I'm just going to ignore all the other uh, things here. Just going to leave them as default. I'm going to choose uh, the file name. So there's a button to export as, and I'll navigate to uh, to my location. I want to be in the same location as. Um, as this uh, as the as the image that I've imported, so now I'm going to call it ex1. This example one, save it, and and all I've got to do is to export. Um, I can close this dialog box when the export is complete because I don't need it. So when I do uh, when I click export, my dialog box is closed. I go back to um, to my location, and there is. There is my image. So this exported fine. Only the the, the page exported, and and you see 
uh, and you see a cutout of, of the image that um, that is is in our project. So the problem with this obviously is that um, the opacity uh, is set to 100%, which means that uh, we see we don't see through it. We don't we can't see our page. So if I if I change the opacity so that the background is not intrusive and we can actually design over it. Um, I found that exporting this um, that way actually creates a bit of a bit of an issue. So let's say I'm just going to um, to close this for a while. Let's say let's say you you've got it like this and you start you start putting um, putting elements. Um, just for now, let's say they're going to be uh, green. So you, you put your trees or whatnot, and then and then you want to export this. You've got your finished drawing, and you want to export this. So we do this again. We go to export area page, and we change the export now. I'm going to change the name to ex1a. So now. So now we've we've finished the drawing. We want to export the page, and let's see what what happens now. So we export this. We go back to <coughs> to our folder, and here's the issue. All the other elements that we've placed are nice and crisp, whilst the actual background uh, is semi-transparent. All these little um, squares you see indicate that the background is treated as a transparent element so it's not um, so, so it doesn't print as um, as a lighter color it just prints as semi-transparent so I found a quick fix for that and the way the way I do it is once I've got my uh, image uh, image imported I'm going to get rid of my little trees for now. Once I've got my image um, imported, the other thing, the other thing that I do, uh, and it's helpful to keep the opacity like this for now because I want to see the page. Control Z. Um, what I'll do is is I'll take my rectangle tool, which you find in the menu to the left. I'll ensure now go go to the right now. I'll ensure snapping to the page border is on, and and I'll draw a rectangle. Which will be, which will perfectly fit over over the page. And this rectangle is um, is above my. Uh, my background image, and I'll tell you what that means in a later tutorial. Um, now I can go to my fill and stroke properties. Um, I don't want any stroke paint, so I don't want any line around this rectangle. I want to go to fill and move all the sliders to the left to make it white. And now I can change the opacity of this rectangle to to half roughly half. So now I can go back to my background, change the opacity of the background back to 100% and as you can see now the area that I'm designing is nicely um, it's nice and light in, in colors and and that means that it's not, um, not obtrusive and that I can um, and that I can actually design over it uh, without um, without having too much clutter. And and now when I when I print this this out now, let's see what happens when I print this out. So um, export page, change the name to ex1b because save that close and complete export and let's see what uh, what happens now so the first one the first one is um, is just a bare image the second one comes up with this issue and the third one we can see the background it's nice and light and we see all of our 
uh, elements over it. So that's it for um, for today. Just wanted to see uh, to show you how I prepare the background. Uh, before I go away, I'll uh, I'll show you one last trick, uh, which helps uh, which helps when you um, when you draw. Uh, because a lot of times, you, I'm sure you've noticed that I sometimes pull this away to the side and I can pull these and, and now my alignment is off and what do I do? So to prevent that from happening I can click on my background I go to the menu on top, click object and choose the object properties dialog box and again a dialog box appears here and it's got this tick box called lock and I click lock set and now what happens is I can drag all I want and it's not going anywhere and I can do the same with my with my rectangle so I click lock click set and now it's locked so I can move all the other elements but not the actual background and this is very helpful because um, I've, I've moved it so many times um, that it's that it created issues and once I found that you can lock it it just um, helped me out immensely so I can close this dialog box now now to unlock it it's very simple but you have to unlock all of the elements so you go again to the object and down at the bottom you'll find unlock all and again all of these are now unlocked Hoped, uh, I hope you found uh, this helpful and um, uh, let me know. Let me know if uh, if there's uh, any questions that arise. Uh, let me know what else. What what's next that you would like to like you would like me to um to to show you. And um, uh, and yeah. Till next time. Bye bye.